I'm a little busy. Can't you see that here? I, I understand you're a little busy. We have a video to do. I know, but there's so much to get done this week and I just have to get it all written down or I know I'm going to forget something. We've got the fall festival. We've got um, second Sundays at St. Mark's and there's just a lot of people that have been sick and in need and I just need to make sure I don't forget anything. All those things, they'll get done. Let's take a deep breath together and we'll read the scripture, okay? We can do that this. That does always help. Okay, we can do this. Okay. We can do this. All right. As he was setting on a journey, a man ran up to him and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus Good said, question. It's a great question, mm -hmm. uh, especially when we got a lot of things to do. So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one's good but God alone. You know the commandments. I never get that. Well, okay. Why wouldn't Jesus be good? I, I don't know why Jesus wouldn't be good, but let's go to see what he says. All right. Okay. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. All these things you're not supposed to do. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, teacher, I've kept all these things since my use. I've done them all. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, you lack one thing. You like doing one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, then come and follow me. So this man who does all these things and follows the law and follows what God asks still hasn't done enough? Then what are we doing here? Uh, well, it, you raise a good point, and I know it seems like sometimes the list is exhausting, and we've done all these things, but I think you're, that's what Peter asks. Well, I do like Peter. <laughs> I, I know, you kind of recognize with Peter, and Peter, Peter has a soft spot in my heart, mm -hmm. and he says, well, what must I do to inherit your life? And really the question is, well, then who can be saved? That's a good question. Well, it is. But Jesus' response, I think, gets really right to the point. For mortals, for all of us, it's impossible. If it's based upon all the things we do, we're never going to gain it. But for God, all things are possible. So we don't have to do anything on the list? No, it's not saying we don't have to do anything on the list. I think that's how we misunderstand it sometimes. It's saying that... We do these things and that's fine. And they may not all get done. And some of them may get done. But whether they don't get done or get done, it doesn't affect whether we receive the gift of eternal life. We can't do anything to earn it. We're not good enough. We're not good enough. But in God, all things are possible. So because... God loves us and God does these things for us. We try to do our best, but if we fail, God's love's still there for us. Exactly. All right. Well, that is good news. Especially good news since you got a lot left to do today and it may not all get done. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> You're welcome, but I have a lot left to do today too and it may not all get done. But the good news is, God loves us. Well, and I've always found out that when I'm doing God's work, what God needs me to get done and what is good to get done, it will get done. Absolutely. With God's help. <laughs> well, join us Sunday at our two congregations, St. Mark's Lutheran Church and All Shepherds Lutheran Church. And what God needs to get done will get done. And to be in the presence of a God who loves us is something that we can't do enough of. It's important to stop and be reminded of this because I find when I stop and turn to that scripture, it fills me much more than my to-do list or checking it off does.